Hey guys, this is uh, Lane and Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video I'm doing for my graphic design ninja in training. Alyssa uh, showing her how to set up a page template for a new digital magazine. We're going to do uh, setting that up in Inkscape. So if you haven't watched the first video, please do that. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup in the second video, and then uh, we'll we'll work on this column on this right side a little bit, and then we'll be about done. So. Um, I decided I wanted to, this curve's about twice as big as I want, so if you double click it there, and you can come down and go to your XML editor, and then right here you have this RY value, so I'm going to set that to 1.25, okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with these others. And then we've got one more. Okay, so I like those little smaller radiuses a little better. And then um, this this is a little thick, this font. I like it, but for the size it's a little thick. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make that a little bit thinner. It's just uh, it's hard to read it when it's that thick and, and that, that small. So uh, that should be titanium. And we're going to go ahead instead of uh, that was black, I think, we're going to try semi bold. Yeah, maybe bold. That's a little better. I like the bold. Okay. All right, good. So now what I want to do is. Uh, I'm going to work on this other side over here to show you how we're going to occasionally put in some navigational aids. And so I'm just going to give you guys an example of that real quick. But before we do that, what we need to do is we got to download the icons we need. So you can just go to Material Icon, Material Icons. If you Google that, it'll it'll pull up some icons. Uh, it's a nice set of consistent icons. And so I want to download a couple of these. So I'm looking for one that I can use for like importance. So let's see here. So I could use one of these. Hmm, I actually think I kind of like this one. So we'll download that SVG file. These will drop right into Inkscape, which is nice. And then I wouldn't mind a link. Let's see here. There's a link here. I don't know if that's the one I want, though. Hmm. Let me pause this guys while I like browse around. Alright guys, so we're gonna we're gonna set up a little icon over here. We're gonna kinda use this right bar as for supplement supplementary content and just to kinda highlight stuff in the article and we're we're gonna drop some icons in here because this is gonna be a real text heavy publication and we wanna we wanna break it up a little bit. So <clears throat> Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna use an example here. This this text right here is talking about why this case is important. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna add a little icon and call that out. So let's go to my downloads and uh, we're gonna do this icon right here. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna box these. I think I'm going to do white for now. Okay, so I like that. It's got my little uh, rounded corners on it. Okay, and then uh, we're going to pull this down here. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm going to draw a little arrow. I'm going to go back and toggle my grid again so I can draw my arrows the way I want. So we're going to put our grid back to... I'm actually going to make this a little smaller, probably. Yeah, that'll work. And then we're just going to... Yeah, I do want that a little smaller. Let's make it uh, 0.05 and 0.05. I can draw my arrow the way I want. So we're just going to draw our arrow like this. Okay, then I'm going to pull up my fill in the. Oh, let's set our grid back. I like to leave it on uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 because that's my baseline grid. And uh, let's pull up our fill and stroke dialog down here. And I'm going to get rid of that stroke. I'm going to go ahead and fill it solid. Okay. And so now I've got this text that says this is why this is important. And uh, let's just go ahead and we'll come up here. We'll copy this text down. And then we'll just add a little note here. This case establishes a legal standard. Okay, and then we gotta we gotta make this word wrap work because it's not sized right. So okay. So now we've got a little navigational aid there, which is kind of handy. Okay. Let's get another one. We're going to do one on, we're going to put some terms in here. So, okay, so we're, where we uh, define a term, we're going to go ahead and, and put that in here. I'm not doing that yet in the text, but we will in other, other places, and I just want to show you guys an example. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to import this little book icon. Okay, and then the nice thing is, since we already have this done, we can just Copy these. Okay. And then I want to center that, so I'm going to open my Align and Distribute dialog and center that. I should do the same thing here. Okay. Alright, now I know I told you guys at the beginning that layers were re really important and then I didn't do a good job take care of my layers, so let's uh, Let's open our layer dialog and get that fixed here. So, uh, this default layer I just like to call base. And then I'm going to add a couple layers. So, I want a layer for text, title, text, uh, subheading, text regular. I'm going to say. Uh, groups, icons, shapes, arrows. Okay, and I need a dash in here. Forgot my dash. Okay, we want to go ahead and get stuff on the right layer now, so. I'm going to grab my text here, my regular text. We'll go to Layer, Move Selection to Layer, Text Regular. This is going to go on our subheading layer. Move Selection to Layer, Text Subheading. This is going to go to our title. So Layer, Move Selection to Layer, Title. This is going to go to our regular text layer, Move Selection to Layer, Regular. Okay, then these, we're going to create groups from these icons. And we're going to move those, so layer, move selection of layer, groups, icons. And we've got our arrows. So we're going to move that to shapes, arrows. Now, you may be worried because this doesn't look right, but that's okay. We're just going to 
open up our layer dog, layer dog, layer dialog. We're going to move boxes layout to the bottom, then we're going to bump it up one above base. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Move this to our icon layer. Okay, and so this is starting to look uh, a little nicer now. I'll just give you an example of what this would look like if we had a term here. So what we'd probably do is something like this. And we grab some bold text. Oop. So if we were going to define a term, it probably looks something like this. Recurring, uh, trespass, and then the definition would go here. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I'm just this looks this looks all right. Yeah, I think this is uh this is good. Okay, so I don't have any color here yet. We're gonna do that. We'll do another video with some color, but let's go ahead and save this and save it as a PDF. And then let's pop that up and see uh, see how it looks. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I think it's going to look good. Even though it's text heavy, we're going to break it up a little bit with some of those icons. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, pick a color scheme and then add a little bit of color. And uh, then we'll, we'll be good to go, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.